Hello and welcome back to Battle of the Beer. I'm Lucas, that's Jason, and uh, you might have noticed that we're in a different set while well, we're in an actual set. Things might change a little bit, but this is where we're gonna be. This is this our set. home, Jason. This is home. So why don't you tell us what we're doing today? You might have heard, Lucas, that some people favor cans, some people favor bottles. Different yes. reasons why. A can doesn't let in light, so there's more shelf life involved. Bottle, you know, while it does have, it can let more light in, it also doesn't impact the flavor as much as maybe the aluminum of a can might do. So here's the question, Lucas. If I poured you a can in a bottle, could you tell the difference? Well, I guess that's what we're here to find out. Precisely. This is my favorite beer. So I would think that out of anything, I would be able to tell the difference between the two, if there was, if there is a difference. Lofty, I'm, I'm looking- Lofty words. Yes, sure. I know. A high, high thing to have to hold myself to, but all right, I'm going in. You can feel free to. Hmm. Give me a little bit of this one right here. That one. A little this, bit this one's that. mine, this one's mine. That one's yours. I spit it. <laughs> Okay, I think I, I think I got. I'm, I'm, I think I have mine too. I'm gonna say this is the bottle. Yeah, we are both incorrect. Oh no! That does not spell anything good for what's about All to right. come. All right. <sighs> All right. Well, round two. Bring it on. All right, Lucas. Yeah. We got the first one wrong. Nothing to feel bad about. We're yeah. gonna bounce back here. Yes. But oh, how do you feel about making it a little interesting? I always like making a, things a more wager amongst friends. Fellows. Oh, friends. Amongst thieves. Oh, compadres. Sure, let's do it. The loser. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, Mike. Mike is gonna score it for us because he's a super guy like that. The loser Thanks. has to drink a beer bomb. What is a beer bomb? Well, we're responsible to drinkers here, so we're not gonna finish all this beer, so there's gonna be leftovers. What if we combine the leftovers into a concoction? <laughs> and um, the loser has to enjoy said concoction. If it's alcohol, it's going in my mouth. All right. I agree. Deal. This is good. I'm gonna drink this now. Give me a little more of this. Mm. So that's that. Thank you, sir. Cleanse the palate. Get a little saliva in there. It's close. You know, I really thought I was gonna get that last one. I uh, I was looking for a taste that I'm pretty sure wasn't there. Uh, you have an idea of what a canned beer, if it's gonna be bad, is gonna taste like. Right. And well, I, I thought mean, I had it's it. It's like a preconceived notion. Uh, a little bit more of this. This one's tough for me. I'm thinking I'm just throwing it, taking a stab in the dark. I'm going this one. All right, final answers. Jason. You are correct. Oh, yeah. oh. I mean, shoot. <laughs> you know, I'm really getting frustrated about this because I, I'm so surprised that there's, there's, so far, there has been barely any. No, difference. that last one was especially, especially brutal. Yeah, I thought. I thought the lighter that they got, the easier it was going to be. But I almost feel like it's the other way around. All right. I don't know why I take so much time tasting the first one because you're really not going to know until you can get it back and forth. That's true. Gotta get a little more of this one then. Okay. Mm -hmm. I have formulated my decision. Are you sure? Yep. Cause my yeah, I'm all flippy flopped uh, now. I don't even know what you, to think. You anymore. just go for it. I think is the the key. Ooh, that's what I'm doing. Jason, you are correct. I mean, yes. damn it! What is going on? <laughs> what, are you a good guesser or something? I think it's rigged. 
Now, Lucas, I don't want to be unsportsmanlike here, but that's two in a row, and that beer bomb's got to be tasting pretty good right about now, because if I win this one, it's all, it's all, it's all over for you. So. Well, I'm looking forward to the beer bomb as much as I'm looking forward to this taste test right here, because... This is America. I haven't right had... There. When's the last time you have a, had a Bud a and not bud? a Bud Light? Yeah, because Bud Light's pretty common, I feel I think like. about five years ago. Mm. And oh. I no 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 it was the Fourth of July two years ago and I actually I prefer I prefer Bud Light because Budweiser just has a usually nasty aftertaste. It actually doesn't taste like anything really. I feel like anyway, it smells it smells very skunky. Lots of swallowing. Mm-hmm. Quality audio. I'm I'm in the game now. I have to do this. Like otherwise, no. my heart's not in it. <sighs> my superior brain has come. Do a decision. Mine as well. Mm. I mm. had games. Maybe ah. I'm trying to mess with you now. Oh no. I'm scared. Lucas. You're gonna be drinking a beer bomb. No! Are you kidding me? <laughs> Maybe I just don't like bottled beer. What is wrong with this picture? All right, well, this round, uh, I'm probably at a disadvantage, I feel like, because this is something that you drink quite often, actually. I like it, I just don't really drink it that often. It, it's a good beer. You know, it's dedicated to Tech the Craft as well, because oh. they've, they've asked for this many a time, but... Wow, I've never noticed how much... There's coffee in this beer. Yes. And uh, it, it smells like a cup of coffee, really. All right. No, you should probably do the George Costanza method. Mm, mm -hmm. Everything George does is wrong, so you need to do the opposite because you're you're losing very poorly. Well, I don't have a way of winning now, so <laughs> all bets are off because I, I lost. I'm throughout this entire yeah. test, I have not noticed hardly any difference. The first one I thought I did. Yeah, well, I but noticed, after I've that, noticed a difference. Everything but soft parade. Soft parade was like dead equal, but. There's just Where on your tongue bit. are you letting this hit to, to learn these secrets? A, a, a true master doesn't, oh. doesn't give away secrets. I feel like at this point I'm just shooting. Well, it's like you, you can trust me or side with me or you can. I'm just going to default to this side now because I've picked it so many times right. that I don't even know anymore. Right. <laughs> I don't know what's right and what's wrong. All right. That's final answer. Tell us the horrible secrets. Divulge the answers. You are both wrong. Oh! See? I'm used to it. I've picked this so many times. This was close. Wrong. This one was close. It was, it was tough. You're flipping a coin on this, right? Mike, you said? Yeah, so I think it's the coin. The coin is. <laughs> Lady Luck is screwing me <laughs> over, and I will not be gambling later. Ah, <sighs> beer bomb. It's gonna be good. Well, it's all about pride now. I mean, the victory has eluded you today, Lucas, but take mm -hmm. heart because you've, you've put up a valiant effort. I mean, I tried. You, you haven't gotten one right yet, but I mean, <laughs> this is the last one. It's, this is your this is your moment. For the doubters out there, I am tasting things. It's just apparently <laughs> I can't determine what it is. I have no secrets. I'm really intuition I think you're just guessing. guessing, yeah. Well, or Mike's tipping me off every time. We oh. had an agreement prior to this, so. Is, what the, is that what all that winking and earlobe pulling has been about? Because I kind of noticed Well, that that's much. just our special bond, actually. You're flirting, but... that's what I, I figured. All right, well, let's get this over with, because let's be honest, your I've favorite, got a lot more to drink after this. Your favorite this. style, the IPA. I'm not too, you know, like something like this, it's lighter, I don't mind, but. It's when you get grapefruit juice in it, or blood orange, or whatever the hell. Ah, uh, yes. That was a grapefruit. Now you're thinking of the uh, fresh squeeze, I believe. Yeah, that's the one that smelled like an armpit on our, one of our episodes, <laughs> like episode seven or something. It's good beer. I don't know what's wrong with you. I do know the my selection already, by the way. So take your time, take your time. I'm just going through the motions at this point. There's no science happening here. I just, this oh, guy knows what he's talking about. Going to the right side of the this table. is the one time I voted on this side, I feel like, and it's probably going to be wrong. So let's see what the hell happens as if it matters at this point. Lay it on us, Mike. You're both incorrect. Oh my oh. freaking lord. 
I can't, I cannot buy, I've literally- I thought for sure because I've, I have a bunch from my brother's wedding. I have a bunch of canned all day IPA and I thought for sure that tasted so much similar. Oh. I have literally broken the odds here and not got one correct just by guessing. Had a 50-50 shot and could not get one correct. Oh, never mind. I did it backwards. I knew this was the can, but I put the bottle. You can't over. do it. No. Oh. He didn't know nothing. Oh. All of your other answers are invalid at this point, and <laughs> we both have to. Well, I've got, I've got, I got a beer bomb to drink, and it's gonna be filled up to here, and I gotta drink it all. So, Mike, go get it. I guess. As a gentleman, I will not let you suffer alone, even though I am the winner. I, I have I to will, drink this whole thing. If you taste this and I it's disgusting, you, yeah, you yeah. can say never mind. You're doing it out of morbid curiosity. I'm doing it because I'm a loser. I mean, it looks like an IPA. It actually looks a lot, it's lighter than I thought it was gonna be. You know, maybe let's give it the battle of the beer treatment and we'll, we'll, <laughs> we'll discuss it as we drink. Cheers, here's to losing. It tastes like watered down bean flicker. It is not that bad, surprisingly. Also, surprisingly, the coffee really comes through on it. Yeah, it's weird. I'm, I'm because... surprised the Dirty Bastard isn't stronger. I feel like, oddly enough, I can get that horrible piss taste of Budweiser and the coffee from bean flicker. Oh my goodness, look at that. Wow, well done, sir. How do you feel? It wasn't that bad. It just shows to go ya that you can cover up the bad taste of Budweiser with a little bean flicker. <laughs> a little coffee. So, well, that's our show for tonight. Uh, we want to know, have you tried this before? Have you ever had a taste test with cans and bottles? You should try it to see, because clearly the results show that maybe there's some people out there who, I didn't notice a difference whatsoever. Yeah, it's, it's I mean, I'm sure there's people that can, but I it was extremely difficult. Yeah, was... and after knowing the answers, I I found the cans to actually be quite smoother most of the time, and it didn't bother me whatsoever. So, yeah. uh, I urge you, if you can, go out and uh, find some. Now, we did have a little, well, let's say we had a limited quantity of what we could find in both bottles and cans. You know, you might not be able to do it, but if you can, I urge you to try because you were it's able fun. to it was, try. Yeah, well, yeah, it, it, I, but, in somewhat, the end, but it's fun. It was it, just kind of fun to do. It was yeah. a nice change of pace from our usual episode and then it was just something different. Kind of neat. So I think the, end, the thing to take away from this at the end is that the myth is debunked. I don't think there's really a difference at all, obviously. Hey, it's beer and all beer is good. Exactly, so canned, bottled, Whatever you Cheers. like, just drink it. Cheers.